Hello dear readers and subscribers. If we aim to pursue a successful career as an artist, whether be it with climbing the ladder of success of the art world or via alternative career strategies, it is important that we first understand our reality as an artist. It takes courage, perseverance, but also knowledge. Via empirical evidence from infield experience or, for instance, also statistical evidence in form of data, we can understand and work towards career growth. Therefore, in this video, I would like to discuss statistical truths that all artists need to be aware of when pursuing a career in the art world. So brace yourselves for the truth and nothing but the truth and we'll have to bravely face it together. But at the end of this video and of this series of statistics, there is a silver lining and we should be hopeful and motivated for the future. Let's dive into the numbers. Art is most often a lasting product. Therefore, it can occupy the wall of a collector's home for its entire lifetime and the lifetime of the next owner and the next owner and the next. Artists create approximately 25 up to 50 artworks annually with an estimated 5 million active artists today. This results in 125 to 250 million new artworks every single year. So this is the offer. Now let us have a look at the demand, which are of course the collectors. How much of that 125 up to 250 million pieces of art can be absorbed by the collecting individuals of the art world? Whereas all artists produce several works yearly, 99% of all collectors are one-time buyers. The 5 million active artists are competing for these one-time buyers and in particular the recurring collectors. However, studies have shown that only 6,000 significant art collectors spent more than $100,000 per year in value by collecting art. 83% of all collectors are based in the US and Europe. So these numbers naturally result in that most of the artworks will remain unseen and unsold in the artist's studio. This is not your fault of the artist. It is not your fault of the collector as well, who is doing their very best already. And it's also not the fault of the art world. The reality is that there are simply more people interested in creating and selling art than there are people interested in actually acquiring art. The art world is often seen as an amalgam of entities that are pretentious and that are looking down on artists who are outside of the art world and are doing everything to protect the ones who are on the inside. However, as with the artist-collector ratio, the ratio of the amount of artists and exhibition opportunities is not that great either. Only one in five artists will exhibit their work in their lifetime, with just shy of one million active exhibiting artists in today's art world. With just 25,000 galleries and 7,500 museum institutions, 5 million artists are competing to be showcased in one of the 60,000 exhibitions per year. So this means that the galleries that aren't responding to your emails where you um, send them your portfolio or when you're soliciting for an exhibition when walking into a gallery, they're not refusing you because they don't want to support artists. They refuse you or have to refuse you because they cannot support everyone. Otherwise, if they would have to say yes to all those submissions, to all those requests, all the 25,000 art galleries would have to create a new show every day and a half, which is of course not feasible at all, especially when considering the financial reality for the galleries itself with all the costs and also bearing in mind the aforementioned reality that there are not enough collectors to actually sell those exhibited works to. It is a very common misconception that art galleries or money-grubbing entities only care about the money and not about the art. However, the numbers indicate that the contemporary art industry is actually the least profitable industry, and yet it is the most common one, as people feel affinity to new art and new artists. The industry is marked by great risks, great costs, and little to no rewards. Especially the smaller galleries are struggling, as the gallery directors are putting their own money on the line to invest and support in artists to create their own creative universe and support the artists they believe in. 30% of all art galleries are losing money instead of making money, with only 18% making a healthy profit margin of over 20%. 
almost 80% of all art galleries make less than $200,000 annually. As a result, it makes of course perfect sense that art galleries are focusing and finding an ideal balance of showcasing new up-and-coming artists and also artists that have proven to sell, that actually have a steady selling history. Ultimately, it is not only the galleries who decide what is in these days. The real so-called gatekeepers, which is often referred to as the galleries, are actually the collectors, what they acquire. 45% of the total value of sales at smaller art galleries comes from just one artist. At bigger galleries, this number is 30%. In short, one artist is subsidizing the exhibitions at the gallery for the other artists. So do not feel frustrated when you see that a specific artist is getting a lot of shows, a lot of attention, a lot of sales. And also, do not be too hard on yourself or too disappointed that when you have your first few shows that there aren't any sales. This is a completely normal tendency, one that you have to understand and you also have to put into perspective. So having discussed all these numbers, when analyzing the financial reality of artists, as we have done extensively in our article and video on how much artists actually make, the numbers are both disconcerting and kind of motivating, or surprisingly well. Despite the incredible amount of artists making even more artworks year in and year out, and the fact that there are so few collectors of which who most buy just only once in their lifetime, resulting in a small pool of active art galleries and exhibition opportunities for artists, these are the numbers in terms of income for artists. One in six artists make more than $25,000 annually. One in 10 artists makes more than $100,000 annually. Yes, this also means that five out of six or 85% is making less than $25,000 a year. However, after reviewing the statistics above, this is not surprising at all. And the odds are in fact actually a lot better than is most often seen in public perception, where they often state that pursuing a professional art career is like playing the lottery. Well, the lottery won't be giving you these odds. When you're struggling and you're still outside of the art world, it seems unthinkable to make a living out of doing your dream job. However, when you're getting in touch and inv getting involved in the art world, you'll see that numerous artists are actually doing this dream job and getting paid for it thanks to those passionate collectors, the gallery directors investing in their artists, and also the numerous initiatives from grants, residencies, art awards by institutions, government bodies, and patrons of the arts. Therefore, don't be frustrated or envious towards the art world. Be aware that the difficult path to success is not their fault, nor is it yours. Great investments are being made and with the right mindset, the right information and the right approach, we can beat these odds. For more information on career strategies and simply industry-approved career advice, feel free to go to contemporaryartissue.com advice for artists for more information. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Feel free to watch our video on open calls for artists next. Support us on Patreon and please consider subscribing to stay posted for more contemporary art. Bye.